Welcome to another Hero Highlight everyone. I'm Maddos and today I'm going to be looking at Tychus. The notorious outlaw of the Starcraft franchise. Tychus Findlay is a big man with a big ego and an even bigger gun. Fortunately enough, his loyalty is easily won. Buy him a whiskey or three and promise him enough credits and there's no job in the whole universe too dangerous for him. Again in a marine suit but with a huge Gatling gun. He's also a fairly large guy. Starting abilities. Frag grenade, lob a timed grenade. If it lands on an enemy, it explodes instantly. Run and gun charges to a location and instantly winds up minigun. Overkill focuses minigun fire on an enemy and deals splash damage. And he can move while shooting and can retarget. His combat trade is minigun. Tychus must wind up his minigun briefly, but once wound up, he attacks much faster than other heroes. Heroic ability is Commander Commander Odin. Pilot the Odin and barrage areas with Ragnarok missiles for a short duration. Or the Draken Laser Drill. Airdrop the powerful Draken Laser Drill to disintegrate enemies. He's got two skins. His first one, slightly darker colour and a slightly brighter colour to him. Or there's the infested Tychus. This skin is amazing. You can see that an awful lot of work has been put into it. There's his little infested look there. His Gatling gun held on by a tentacle, a spike tentacle. Round the back also looking pretty damn scary. Not to mention these massive claws out of his back. Three colouring schemes mainly changes the colour of the Zerg infestation on him. But still a very awesome skin. Abilities. Path of the Warrior. So he gains 25 health for every level gained. He's a regeneration master. So every three regeneration globes. He permanently gets plus three health per second. Armor piercing rounds. His Q. Overkill damage to primary targets increased by 20%. Dash increases the range of run and gun by 25%. Level four. Focus attack every five seconds. Your next basic attack. Deals 30% additional damage. He's got a life steal, 15%. Melting point means frag grenade deals 120 damage over 10 seconds to minions and buildings hit by the blast. Level 7, rapid fire. It's a trait. After three, after attacking for 3 seconds, Tychus gains 50% increased attack speed. That's huge. Quarterback increases the range of frag grenade by 50%. First aid. Activate to heal 20% of your max health over 4 seconds. Searing attacks. Activate to increase basic attack damage by 50% for 5 seconds. Attacks cost mana per hit. Ultimate at level 10. Level 13, Giant Killer. Basic attacks against enemy heroes deal an additional 0.5 of the target's maximum health and damage. That's actually a bit less than on some other heroes. Relentless. Reduces the duration of silence, stuns, snares and roots. Lead rain, or lead rain rather, Q. Overkill applies a stacking slow onto damaged enemies, slowing by up to 40%. Stim pack, after using run and gun, Tychus gains 20% attack speed and 20% move speed for 3 seconds. Level 16, Executioner. Basic attacks deal bonus damage against slowed, rooted, or stunned targets. Lock and load, it's a trait. While the minigum is wound up, Tychus gets 15% increased movement speed. Concussion Grenade. Increases the knockback of Frag Grenade by 100%. Stone Skin. Activate to give 30% of your max health and shields for 5 seconds. Fear of the Storm. Basic attacks bounce twice to nearby enemies, dealing 25% less damage each bounce. So again, lower than some of the other heroes. Bolt of the Storm. Activate to teleport to the target location. Big red button. Odin lasts 50% longer and gains a new ability. Nuclear Blast. And Focusing Diodes. Increasing the range increases the range of Draken Laser Draw by 50% and increases the damage dealt to its target the longer it focuses on them, up to 100% extra damage. So let's take a look how Tychus plays in game. Of course, Tychus was only released a couple of days before the Technical Alpha went live. We'll start off with Commander Odin and take a look at that. 
That poor horse definitely couldn't carry a minigun that large. In we go then. So, first of all, we got Overkill. Focuses Tychus minigun on the target, deals 1080 damage to the target over 5 seconds. Other targets in the cone takes more damage. I can't actually target it until after I've got an enemy in there. Frag grenade throws our grenade. Pretty easy. Enemies hit are pushed away from the explosion. Running gun, another quite easy one. It also means that his minigun is instantly ready to go. And then commandeer Odin. Odin is huge. Odin, Tiger's pilots the Odin, gaining a second health pool and reducing all crowd control effects by 50%. Basic attacks in the Odin do heavy damage and no longer require a wind-up. Tychus gains the ability to fire the Ragnarok missiles and annihilate to devastate large areas. And of course his minigun, before attacking Tykes must wind up his minigun briefly. Once wound up, he attacks much faster. So let's commandeer Odin quickly, let's see what happens there. Basically becomes a bit of a transformer. Only has two abilities now though. Uh, I'm not quite sure where his second health pool shows, I think it's up here somewhere. Uh, his abilities with that though are Annihilate, which seems to do a decent amount of damage. And Ragnarok Missile. Which I can't show you yet. So we'll clear those cooldowns and get some minions coming out just to see how he plays. Waiting now for everything to come through. And get some cone damage done, some overkill going. Always quite nice. I can move while I am going with overkill, which is pretty cool. Can drop our frag grenade. Don't forget I can run and gun as well to instantly wind up my minigun. Get a good amount of damage coming down here. I can also keep strafing and killing, all while I am using that minigun. Let's go with the Odin again. Annihilate. Gets ready to destroy everything in range, and of course, my Q still. So that's pretty powerful. The attacks of the Odin are incredibly powerful as well. He can deal a lot, so I'm really looking to push down towers. Let's go back then and reset this heroic ability to go to the Draken. Laser drill. This deals a huge amount of damage, I suspect. Summons a laser drill that deals 85 damage per second. Seems very strong. Exactly where I put it down, I'm not quite sure though. I don't know if I can target it either. It looks like it just wants to do whatever it feels like. It's going to get taken down though pretty soon, so let's reset that. Uh, clear cooldowns. So, there we go. It is now set up in position. Going to just start working away, whatever it feels like. Not too sure in its range, to be honest, but let's go with a little bit of running and gunning. Hopefully kill Arthur's again. He just backs away, as he always does. Okay, I have to use R again. That makes more sense. So to target the laser drill, I can just press R again to target whatever I want to, which is always useful. So it slowly works down everything, but pretty strong. So that's all of Tykes' abilities. Let's take a closer look at his model. Of course, he does look very, very cool here. And finally, does he dance? It looks like no. He does not have a dance, unfortunately. And on his mount, that poor horse is smaller than the gun. I don't think it could carry it. So that's Tychus. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video. Leave a cool comment about the hero. And of course, check out the other hero highlights and subscribe. If you're on stream, stay tuned.